you used to need to have cysts on your ovaries to get diagnosed with PCOS. The Rotterdam criteria years ago changed this to not require cysts to be confirmed like through imaging. And now PCOS is determined with, it could be cysts, but also it could be irregular periods, which a lot of women get, and hyperandrogenism. So there's this big conversation right now happening about everyone seems to have PCOS. And um, I think it's interesting that without a doubt, incidence of PCOS is increasing, but they actually also changed how it's diagnosed. Now they did that many years ago, but it does take a while for doctors to implement these changes in their practice. And so now PCOS diagnoses have doubled. And we treat a lot of PCOS at Reina. And one thing when I talk to women a lot is a lot of times they think the high androgens are like a root cause of what's what's going on. But there's so many other things beneath the surface and two really important things to look out for if you have PCOS. One is low thyroid levels and two is low progesterone. Now in animal studies, they can actually induce PCOS by removing an animal's thyroid. That's how important truly every part of your body is. But without thyroid, you cannot you cannot make progesterone. And this can really send your adrenals into to overdrive where you overproduce androgens. So I'm so proud that literally thousands of women have used our thyroid and our progesterone creams and capsules. We've got doctors that can help um, give you know capsules for PCOS because it is such an up and coming solution to these problems. And we've just had such amazing results.